Hi guys. So uh, I have to move this on the side. My name is Stephanie Don Basa, and I'm the owner of Happy Plant Co. And today we'll be talking about the Philodendron tortum wide form. So there's two kinds. There's the narrow and the wide. But I have this one in my collection, not yet the narrow form. I just am more attracted to the wide form. And I'll be sharing some tips on how to propagate them. And I'll show you the progress that I've had with this and the cuttings. Today we'll be talking about the wide form because that's what I have in my collection. And the progress that I've had with the cuttings in moss. So it's been in the moss for about four months now and I have a lot of new growth. So I'll be sharing those with you. Here's a closer look at it. Let me, sh <laughs> Let me show you. So this is actually a grouping of three. And you can see the Leaves are very mature. Finger-like leaves. Reminds me of the silum and the, what's the other one? Amayoi, um, also my favorite. So this has moved up to my top five favorite philodendrons. Maybe because it's so fun to propagate. I got so excited seeing the new growth, which I want to share with you guys too. So let's take a look at them right now. This guy got stuck. I'm gonna help it out. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I have four bottles of the Philodendron Tortum in moss, and it's been in this for about three to four months. Let me show you the progress, especially this one. So here's a new leaf it put out, and another new leaf coming soon. This one has another one too. So these are two separate cuttings, two leaves, which I put in moss. And I water this once every two weeks almost. Can you see the roots? The moss is alive now. <laughs> it's come back to life. <laughs> and the root system is like all over the bottle already. So it's looking for that moisture. That moisture that comes in only every two weeks. And I make sure that it doesn't dry out at all. Always keep it moist and having it in a bottle keeps that little moisture in longer than if it was, let's say, in a nursing pot with lots of drain holes, which it doesn't need because for cuttings of the tortum, you can keep them in pure water or in moss. But for this experiment, I wanted to do it in moss. I actually have four of them four bottles, and here's the other one. Also very promising, because it's given me a new leaf as well. Right here, and right here. Oh, actually, it gave me two new leaves already. As you can see, it's still a juvenile, not like this, not the mature form yet. There's the beautiful root system. It's not a root ball, it's a root square. Because <laughs> it's in a square bottle, but uh, it's gonna be hard to take this out if I do keep it here for too long. It's gonna attach itself too much to the bottle. So, since it's got two leaves already, and usually that's my, let's say, propagation threshold time frame, I would take this out by next week and put it in the airy aeroid mix. 